You're right, Tamia. Do you want an easier way to make sure all the rubbish under your bed is hidden and easier to access? Well, in this one, I'll show you how to make some underbed drawers. The average jar way. Now, before you start cutting anything, you're gonna to wanna to get some measurements. You need to measure the size underneath your bed, how much space you've got to work with, and then figure out the size you want the drawers. I think it's much easier to find the size of the drawer fronts first and then work backwards. So, measure the height from the floor to underneath your bed rail, and then measure the space between the headboard and footboard's legs. This is the space you have to work with. Remember to allow some clearance space, I went with 12mm off both sides and off the top. Now for these drawers I'm going to recommend using some wheels, it makes them much easier to slide in and out from underneath the bed. So when you're getting your measurements, take into account for these. I'm going to link the ones that I'm using in the description below and on my blog post. That's an Amazon affiliate link so if you end up buying some, I'll get a little percentage of that if you do choose to go and get some. But the clearance that I'm allowing for these ones are 10mm, so you can make it a little bit higher, a little bit lower if you want to, but that's just the measurement that I'm using. If you decided to use the wheels too, then allow for that 10mm space at the bottom. There also needs to be clearance between the drawers, so I went with 12mm again in the middle. These spaces you're left with are the sizes of your drawer fronts. From there, I allowed a gap of 30mm left and right and from the top. This gives me the width and the height that the drawer bodies need to be. The last measurement you need to get is how deep the drawers can be. If these are for a double bed, keep in mind you may want drawers on both sides, so I'll allow enough space for two drawers deep. To make the drawers, I used 12mm MDF. You could use 18mm MDF too. I used my table saw to cut the MDF to the width that I would need for the drawers. If you don't have access to a table saw, you could use a circular saw and a straight edge, or ask very nicely at your local DIY store if they are able to cut the pieces to size for you. Having an easy to read cutting list will make their job a lot easier, so make sure you take one with you. I then cut the pieces to length at the mitre saw. Now you've got all the pieces cut, we're going to keep the construction dead simple, using wood glue and screws. It's not the strongest option, but we'll sort that out later. The layout for the construction is much better if you have the front and back side pieces sitting side of the left and right side pieces. This way, when you're pulling on the drawers, you're much less likely to weaken the joint over time, because you're pulling sideways on the screws, rather than pulling them directly out of the holes. To fit the pieces together, I sit a front and side piece on the base of the drawers, make sure they're flush together, then drill two thin pilot holes through the side piece and into the edge of the front piece. Apply some wood glue and then secure the pieces together with two screws. Do the same for the other four corners so you have an outer frame put together. You can now flip it over and secure the bottom to the drawer in place. This time apply the wood glue, make sure it's flush all the way round, drill pilot holes and secure with screws. I used two screws on each of the four sides. Now we've got the bodies to the drawers put together using the wood glue and screws, we can add some real strength using some wooden dowels. I used 6mm dowels, so I drilled a 6mm hole in between the screws that are already in place. Then I applied some wood glue to the dowel and hammered it in flush to the surface. I repeated this step for all four corners and then flipped the drawer over and added two dowels to each of the four sides underneath. These will add a lot of strength to the drawer's construction. Now in the next step, I'm gonna be using a router and a bandsaw. Now don't worry, if you haven't got a router or a bandsaw, there are ways around it and I'll explain some alternatives. It just makes the job go a lot quicker if you have got them. I first used the flush trim bit in the router to flush up the bottom to match the sides. This really could be done by sanding though. I then used the round over bit in the router to remove all the sharp edges. Again, sanding could be used instead, but it would just take longer. For the drawer fronts, I wanted to cut out some drawer pulls. You may want to add drawer handles onto yours though. I used the bandsaw to cut out a template. 
you could use a jigsaw to cut out this template instead. I then used that template centered on the draw front to mark up the draw pulls. A jigsaw helps to remove the bulk of the material, but you could use it to make the cut entirely. I opted to use the flush trim router bit again, this time it followed the template which I clamped in place, giving me an exact cut that I can repeat on the other draw fronts. The round over bit removes the sharp edges, but again sanding by hand would work well too. Next up it's time for paint, my least favourite part, especially when it comes to painting MDF. Getting a nice finish on the exposed edge can be a right pain, but what I would recommend, steer clear of using any type of MDF sealer to waste the money, just use an eggshell wood paint instead. Eggshell paint really is great on MDF. I applied one coat with a foam roller, let it dry fully, gave it a light sanding by hand and then applied a second coat. You can go with any colour you like for this. For the draw fronts I followed the theme from the Gruffalo beds that I'm making at the moment but you could use a finish to match your decor. Now you've got the bodies to the drawers painted and you've got your finish that you chose for the drawer fronts done as well, you can glue them together. Before gluing the fronts onto the bases I first sanded some of the paint away from the mating surfaces. This will allow the wood glue to adhere better. With the drawer front centred and flush to the bottom I applied clamps to hold it all together while the glue dried. A coat of spray polyurethane on the drawer front will help protect the paint. Now the drawers are almost done as the weather's starting to change on my ear. Last thing to do is add those wheels that we talked about at the start of the video. I added the wheels flush to the bottom and set in from the front and back by about 25mm. A short screw through the holes in the wheels secures them in place. Two screws in each. That's the drawers done, time to use them to hide all your rubbish under your bed. So that's it for this one, I think you'll agree, a dead simple project, I'm going to try and speed through this because it's going to tip down any second. I want to say a massive thank you to all my Patreon supporters, I've had a brand new supporter this week as well and that's Marisol, so thank you so much Marisol, I really appreciate the support that you've shown me and the channel and all my other Patreons, thank you so much guys, I really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, click the subscribe button and click the bell to get notifications so when I upload a new video you'll get a notification on your phone or an email letting you know there's something there to watch. I hope you liked this one, if you did give it a thumbs up, if you didn't give it a thumbs down and I'll catch you on the next one.